Hey guys, what's up? Um, so today I'm going to be showing you some more of these fancy lights. And I got this hallway to work, so I'll go ahead and show you that. Because this is pretty cool. This is uh, my last video where I was complaining about how this didn't work properly. I have got it to work. So, these are really awesome. Unfortunately, I couldn't get my new ceiling version to work with them in sync. Like, that just blows the game's mind and it breaks. So, yay Minecraft and all of its awesome coding. Thank you for that. But, uh, yeah, it works pretty well now. Especially this part. I've gotten this to, like, work about 95% of the time. Still sometimes, like, it might do it here. I'm not sure. But, uh, it still sometimes breaks along when it's doing these, uh, special, you know, breaking the game's logic with its glitching bud switch stuff. Yeah, as so you can see here, um, it broke this time, but it usually works, and uh, the more you have, of course, the more likely it is that it's not going to work every time, so if you had like three of these, like, it'd probably work every time, but I've got like six or seven of them, so let's see, do I know how to count? One, two, three, four, alright, six of them, and uh, yeah, so it generally works. And these are really cool lights, I think, because I think that looks awesome right there. And you could uh, put these in a wider room, too, so like you'd have chandelier lights all along the side of your walls, um, like a large like temple room or something. I don't know. In your throne room. But, yeah, it is uh, pretty cool. Let's see if it works this time. So it looks like it's actually useful and not something that'll just annoy you when it's broken. Alright, cool. So it worked. And uh, now I'll go ahead and show you my new one. Uh, I'll see if it works right here. I It worked before and I hooked it up to like this circuit and it broke and wouldn't work anymore at all. So that was kind of annoying too. Uh, I really, you know, I wish redstone was more reliable when you're trying to cheat it in you know break the game pretty much but you know that just comes with the territory of cheating the redstone so alright so yeah you just I alright yeah so it's broken and uh, I've got this here to show you that this thing alright if you thought that one was temperamental oh my god this thing Jesus you gotta put it in the exact right block or else it won't work There you go. It's a uh, so it's a light that's hanging like the third block away from the ceiling. So there's two blocks of space in between. It is really cool. Uh, I got most of it done in one day, but then just got lazy because I ran into a little problem with the wiring. I didn't want to like change it. And this thing's also really big because uh, I kind of just kind of haphazardly threw wiring together without any kind of floor planning or anything like that so it worked out though it's generally how I do my builds and that's also generally why they're so not compact but yeah alright so you can see this one works almost every time well every time I've never actually had that one fail on me unless the wiring was wrong and this one uh, this one is a little bitch to put it simply it's like oh it works oh wait no it doesn't for no reason at all it's just whatever game you do what you want and I'll do what I want which is generally beat the shit out of you with my mind all right uh so that's pretty much the whole thing the whole video and uh yeah go ahead and like this video because I think this is really cool uh, I'd like it if other people found this downloaded it used it in their worlds uh, I'd especially like it if someone took it and you know deconstructed it or made it smaller or figured out how to make it work when it's you know in like not like in a chunk that apparently makes it break that'd be awesome and uh, I'll go ahead and show you how my thought process goes when I go about building these kind of things here's the manual version I always start out with placing all the pistons and stuff and then building out the uh, manual type of uh, design so like, you know, you go there, then you do this one, then that one, and then you have to push this one in, and then that one like that, and then that, and then you can power it like that. 
So this is how I figure out what I need to do uh, for it to work. Oh, forgot one. There we go. And then, uh, you know, the open, or the close it again, you gotta pull that out, and then do some tricky stuff. Uh, let's see here. Okay. There we go. And then you pull this one back up. And then uh, my original design actually had this happening, but this actually might fix the chunk error problem, because it really just forces that... Uh, to get power through block updating right there and uh, so right how I have it in my actual design now is like a wire like that so if you have that wire you don't actually need uh, this thing so I'll go ahead and show that to you it will be a little hard because it requires me to do uh, some stuff oh there we go yeah see so that just uh, it's not hard at all so you can do that, and that works really well. And then, you know, you just do that, and that, and then repower that. Pull this all the way up. Oh, too far. Do that. Uh, oh, right, well, you get, you get the picture. This is how I go about figuring out how I'm going to do something. This was my attempt at a floor version. Of course, the only way you can power a block that's above the floor level is with a minecart and detector rail. So I was planning on doing a kind of piston tape type thing with like the maximum number of blocks so that you can put it in a pretty wide hallway. Like this could never work in a courtyard because you need to have pistons on floor level to move this thing. And you can't pull uh, tracks downwards. You can pull them upwards, but you can't pull them downwards, which is really annoying. And... Uh, yeah, and you can't get like a piston above it to push it down because I mean, how are you going to power that piston? So it was a little bit of a dilemma. I might try and build this thing, but most likely not just because it's not really useful. It'd be cool to have, but it's really just not very useful at all. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much everything. Um, go ahead and like and subscribe, and uh, I'm going to be releasing more videos. I'm actually working on my 5,000 subscriber special video. Uh, and that's going to be really good. It's something that I actually promised over a year ago. And if any of you know what that is, it's going to happen finally. So, awesome for that. So this is a pretty cool double extender I discovered when I was building this thing. Uh, it's probably not the smallest, but it's definitely cool. And I guess it's broken now. It was working before where it worked. Uh, but... Okay, well, ignore this thing. I guess it's not working, I guess. Alright. And, uh, then I was just messing around with, like, a different type of, uh, pulse limiter. I don't know what I was doing with that. Anyways, go ahead and check out my other videos. I got some really awesome stuff like that, and, uh, the staircase, and, uh, these lights are decent. Um, yeah. And, oh, yeah, and then also... Yeah, like, I tried to move this around so many times to try and get this to work with the lights, but that just didn't happen. Floating button. Oh, there's the special right over there. Maybe it'll give you an idea. All right, well, time to stop rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and like and subscribe for more, and, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed. Again. You better enjoy it. <laughs>